Greetings to the global community of Tivitians. It's a pleasure once again coming to you with my daily prayer bulletin. And uh, uh, we, we, we wish to thank the Almighty God for how far He has brought us in the midst of crisis and disaster. We are still alive. Uh, deepest condolence to all those that have lost their loved ones and countries that are going through pain and suffering and have been quarantined and we're not able to turn left or right, the good Lord will replenish us. He will help us. We shall forever be strong. Today, I would like us to consider a very important phenomenon. In the midst of our mission as divisions, we have to develop serious faith in the mission. Mission without faith is always futile. And therefore, as you have joined the community, you join the community by faith. You know, you were just informed and you believed and you joined. Don't let circumstances around turn away your faith. You see, there's nothing that has existed in this world that have never existed. All things came by faith. And even through uh, in the Bible, uh, when we read the book of Hebrews, I would like us to consider the chapter of 11, the verse 1, 2, and 3. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good testimony. And by faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God. So that the things that we, which we, we are seen, so that the things which are seen were not made by the things which are visible. Taking that again from verse 3. By faith we understand that the world were freed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made by the things which are visible. You see? So faith is able to cause invisible things to come to pass. Now the admin has given us a very important roadmap. And the roadmap is such a way that if we all follow, it will help us eradicate poverty globally. Some see it to be impossible, but it is possible because whatever humanity intends to do with faith is possible. You see, even the world that we see, what are we talking of? We are talking of the mountains, the tree, the sea. We are talking of the mammals and everything that we see came from things that are not visible. You know, before creation, there was nothing that existed. And for that matter, all things came together or came in place through faith. And when we believe that we're able to do, we shall do. The inventions and things that we are now enjoying in our daily life, that facilitate our lives and make it more better and make it more easier. We're all invented through faith because they all started from a conception stage. Someone sat down to think, and out of it, he came with an idea. And he was able, by faith, to begin to put things in order. And at the end of the day, he came out with whatever technological things that we see existing. Whoever thought that a huge and big metals put together like an aeroplane could fly? Whoever thought like a ship, the ship that sailed on the sea, how big and how gigantic it is, is able to pick numerous cars, vehicles, and heavy duty machines could sail on the water, on the sea without sinking. You see, humanity has the power to cause everything to happen. When we believe, you know, the people that made the airplane, they discovered the idea, then they added faith to it. And here we are today, we're able to fly across the oceans and continents. And for that matter, all the items and all the vision that the admin has put in place, they are all achievable, they are all possible, nothing is impossible. If you and I will allow our faith and begin to work it hard, work it out with all our conscience and with all our heart, we shall see it come into reality. And together we shall bring an environment of peace once again in this universe. You see, let us add faith in whatever we do, don't doubt. People go around doubting, doubting the actual system that they are campaigning of. They go around doubting. If someone calls you and asks you, what actually is the community going? How is it going? Is it going to work? Is it going to materialize? And the answer will be like, ah, I don't even know. Mm, I don't even know. It's like 
I don't even have confidence in this. You know, you are not part of us. If you are with us, be with us in spirit. Be with us in emotions. Be with us in your finance. Be with us with all your mind and with all your faith. It is a journey of faith, and let me say, we are trodden the path that no one has ever trodden before. And for that matter, it's definitely true that we're going to encounter a lot of obstacles and setbacks. We're going to encounter a lot of friction, you know, the friction will be there. But let's keep pushing, let's keep pushing. I was actually saddened for, you know, uh, being tagged as a crusader of Antichrist policy, being a pastor. You know, it, had, it saddens my heart, but I began to realize, you know, that it's, it, these are some of the obstacles we have to pass through to get to our destination. Yeah, you see, people that knows me know how resilient I am in connection with the truth. I don't compromise. I wish we all uphold the truth of the gospel as it is, irrespective of how hard it is. But they are surprised to see me nowadays crusading and broadcasting for the billion coin. And they think it's a deviation of calling, it's a deviation of mission. But I say no, it's not a deviation. But rather, it is an added responsibility and an added task. This is a heavenly calling because whatever we do in this universe that affects humanity and the masses is a calling as well. You see, being a preacher and being a Christian is not necessarily about going to church, not necessarily about preaching nice sermon and people clapping and healing. It's about bringing out policies and means that will able to liberate people from servitude and captivity. It's about helping people from the scratch and helping them to act actualize their purpose of existence. And that is what we are trodden, and that is the path that we are taking. And TBC is in there to facilitate and make our work more easier. And therefore, as we preach to people who are in poverty, who are, who are in hunger, who are in servitude, how do you just tell them, go and be well, without helping them, without dashing them something? So as we broadcast this great mission, we hope to add more spice to people's life. We, all, we, we, we are anticipating to add more value to people. So as I talk to you about the gospel and helping you to realize the purpose of living a very decent and pure life in this world, I also hope you know how we can all help make the world better. This is a gospel, and I see it to be a gospel. And therefore, let's all keep pushing. Today we will not see how beautiful this mission is going to be. But as we keep pushing and keep pushing in future, you see how beautiful and how it's going to yield. You know, small things that people don't normally value are things that turn out to be great. If anyone had think that David could have killed Goliath because he was very tiny as compared to that man Goliath, but with faith and with tenacity, at the end of the day, he was able to overpower that giant. And for that matter, no matter how feeble our system is, no matter how tiny the beginning is, let's develop that strong faith that we are able. Therefore, we need faith, people that with faith that will able to trot this journey. God himself, throughout history, have never aligned or used people that has no faith. Yeah, people that have no faith, you know. There are so many people that have the doubt in Thomas. They want to see before they believe. And if you are that category of person, forget. Forget about success. Forget about success because none of them has ever succeeded. People that always want to see before believing has never succeeded. The great inventors that we see are people that never see, but they believe it's possible. They started investing their time, investing their money, investing their talent, investing their career and everything in it in doing things that have never existed. And whoever stands by, see them undertaking such mission, they will end up by saying, are you people crazy? Because what you are doing has never existed. Yes, but it takes people with courage and people with faith to be able to trot the Christian journey. And for that matter, at this moment of crisis, a period that the whole world is wailing and crying, and everyone is looking for means of survival, let's keep pushing our mission and keep talking to people that we are the people and we owe the world. And we have the power to turn things around to our favor. And that is why I'm calling on the whole community to develop strong faith in what we are doing. Even if it is not doable, with faith it becomes doable. Yes, because when faith is applied in anything, it makes the impossibility possible. 
And for that matter, no matter how impossible our system is, when we all add our feet and begin to work very hard, with all our strength, with all our mind, with all our conscience, we will see it materialize. Yes, because faith is a catalyst. When it is added to anything, it makes it, it speed up the reaction. And yes, and that is why we have to believe in what we are doing. If you don't believe in what you are doing, it's totally impossible for you to even testify to people out there. You see, people will be coming to you and calling on you for more clarification and more testimony on the the. the the, the, the Kringle Society or the Billion Coin System. You need faith to tell them it's possible. I tell people we will hit our liquidity this year. We're going to enter our mass adoption this year because together we are making it possible. And after telling them that, I'll tell you, you also have a role to play just as I play. We all need to make it widely publicized. We all need to talk about it. We all need to educate people. One major thing I have seen about the society lacking is education. And that is why we all have to use the tools that have been provided for us to educate people, educate people, because we have everything available to make it known to humanity. We have all, it, all things available. We have the videos, we have the audios, we have the tutorials, we have the PDFs, and we have the, the articles on the blogs and other things that we can put, lay our hands on, share them, share them to people. And they will, you know, make more audios. Just try to do audios. Explain the concept simple as possible. Don't make it too complicated. You know, the more you talk, the more you make the system so complex. Just make it very simple. If the person is indeed meant to be with us, he will understand that he will be with us. And therefore, let's add faith. We're going to pray today that the Lord should give us faith in whatever we do. He should give us vision to see the future of this community so that we'll be able to involve ourselves, involve our mind, and talk boldly about it without shivering. When you talk to people, talk to people as if you know what you're talking about. Don't talk to people as if you yourself, you're scared and you don't even know. When you do that, nothing meaningful will come out of it. Talk to people as if you know what you're talking about. Forget about people that are relaxing and reluctant. You know, that is how it is. Yeah, nothing good has ever been achieved on the silver platter. We have to go through the storms. We have to go through the struggles and the obstacles. But at the end of the day, I am assuring all of you that we shall get there. It's possible. It's possible. You and I together with force, tenacity, pressure, and daily broadcast, daily recruitment, daily prayer, adding faith to whatever we do, we shall reach there. And I can't wait seeing you reaching, uh, being alive when TBC gets into its liquidity. You'll be a proud person and you'll be celebrated. Keep pushing hard and keep enjoying your day. Don't forget to give it 30 minutes of your time and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page. When we together, we, we come together, we can make a very big change. God bless you. Stay blessed.